Okay, so we just toured the first floor and now we're going to head down to the basement, which yes, this is the only way to get here. So you do have a spiral staircase, which maybe not your thing, but there is another little hexagon window. I've gone down these stairs many times and I find them to be very comfortable. So once we get to the bottom of the stairs, we are here in the family room, which, you know, does have a wood stove. So the one upstairs, not real. This one is working. So there's a brick hearth. And down here, you can set this up as a great playroom. Or if you needed to have sort of an in-law space, this could be their living room. There's a little kind of bar-ish area here. Spin back around so you can see the whole room. So here through this first door, we have the third bathroom in the house. This one is another three quarter bathroom. We've got the sink, the toilet and the corner shower. I love the wainscoting. And then we flow into a basement bedroom essentially. So this one does also have lots of closet storage space even more behind the door so two double closets pretty kind of dark beam and then it just loops back around so this is a sliding door out to the under garage so you do have egress and then there's another door here out to that garage as well obviously full of storage right now you know, that's what happens when you're moving. You have to put everything someplace. So there's the overhead door there, and then there's another door for egress, and I think another one there as well, plus some windows. All right, and then wrapping up the basement tour, we have the storage room, which loops around to the utility room. So you can get there from here, but I'm gonna actually start by going in this way. So here, We've got some built-in cubbies for some good storage. And then we have these built-in shelves here. Probably not including this KitchenAid, or sorry, Magic Chef, uh, little extra freezer, but you obviously can see that it fits there just fine. So this house not only has a hot air heating system, which means this is a furnace, but it also has central air, which is actually very rare for Vermont. You can see we've got the oil tank here. It's in very good condition. And then we have a pressure tank as well as hot water, electric hot water tank. And then down here we have the water softener system. This is the water softener and then there's the brine tank. If you don't know what that means, let me see if I can get this off easily. Oh, I can. So there's little bits of salt in there, and that is helping to soften the water. We need to pour a few more bags of that in right now. And then here, we've got the electrical panel. We've got a 200 amp service. A little sub panel right here, just for the water heater. That's nicely labeled. And then you might think that this is a sump pump which kind of technically it is, but it's not for water issues. It's because we have that lower level bathroom. So for the septic to go down and then to pump it back up and out uh, to the main septic system, that is what this system is for. Very functional. Uh, this house is also wired for a generator. You can see that there's a lot of newer plumbing, all PVC and PEX. And then I'm just gonna spin around and say, okay, remember those doors I showed you right by the bar? You could come in this way, that's those doors right there. So it's just one big open space with storage. All right, coming back through into the family room, just so you can wrap up and see the whole thing together. That is the lower level.